everyone, a triangular lot is bounded by two streets intersecting at right angles. The lengths of the street uh, frontage of the lot are 80 and 120 feet. So this is right in here. This is your 80 feet. And this is your 120. All right. Find the dimensions of the largest rectangle, rectangular building that could be placed on the lot facing one of the streets. So I put it right here in this purple area. So this is my little rectangular lot. And the thing we need to know is that ABC, triangle ABC and triangle ADE are similar. So if I set them out like this, I have, um, I can set this up as a proportion. So what I'm gonna do is set X equals, and I look over here at the 80, this whole 80 thing minus y, because I have my y here, so this is going to be um, 80 minus y. And then for my y, um, my y here equals already 120. Right here, it's going to be 120, and this is going to just be 80. Alright, so that's the setup. And you're merely going to cross multiply and solve. So basically, we're going to get, um, if you cross multiply, you're going to get 80x equals 120 times 80 minus y. And so that's going to equal 960 or 9600 minus 120y. And I'm going to move the y over so I get 80x plus 120y equals 9,600. And I can reduce all of this um, by 40. So I'm going to get 2x plus 3y equals 240. I just merely divided everything by 40 to make it easier. All right. Now that you have that, um, we're going to find the area. We know the area equals length times width. So basically, our um, A, which is in our case is going to be X times Y, and if I solve for Y, I'm going to get y equals 80 minus 2 thirds x. So basically, I'm going to get um, my length, which is x, x times 80 minus 2 thirds x. And if you simplify that, you get uh, 80x minus 2 thirds x squared. All right, so that is your setup. And now we're going to take the derivative of our area with respect to x, and that's going to give you 80 minus 4 thirds x. So you set this to 0, you get 80 equals 4 thirds x. Multiply both sides by 4 thirds, I mean 3 fourths. So that will cancel here. And 4, that's 20. 4 goes into uh, 80, 20. So that gives you 60 equals x. Therefore, if 60 is x, then we're going to have our y is going to be 40. Because you have 80 uh, minus y. And if you do, uh, or 80 minus what, x? So anyway, if you do 80 minus x, you get 80 minus 60, and that gives you your y if you rewrite this. So our dimensions are 60 for x and 20 for y. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.